Hey guys, how are you today? We are here uh, this month for a bonus collaboration video between my design team for my product line and Shannon Green and her Custom Keepers. Right? Pretty exciting, I think. If you don't know what Custom Keepers are, they're a traveler's notebook style system made out of repurposed billboard vinyl. These are both custom keepers. I've also done a Galaxy one, and that video is here on YouTube. I'll link it in the description below. This one is collage and paint. I did the whole um, thing, and then I gave it a coat, a protective coat when I was done, and um, it has held up really well. There's a little bit of wrinkling along the spine, um, but I think mostly that's just because I didn't get things glued down very well. I don't. I think that's the. <laughs> I think it was user error. Um, but this part of it totally smooth. It stuck really well. No edges are lifting. Like it worked like a charm. And I didn't do anything special. I used yes paste, and I think Mod Podge. I did give it a coat when I was done of Dorland's wax um, as a protective like coating so that it, nothing would be sticky. This one is my favorite one, to be honest. This is, I believe, the B6. I'll link the link for it in the description below. It's my favorite size, my favorite one. This is my travel daily art sketch custom keeper. I actually don't really know what to call it, but anyway, it's the natural style of billboard vinyl, just the way I got it. I didn't cover it up or anything. What I did that's exciting with this one that I like is I added pockets. I used my sewing machine and some scraps of vinyl that Shannon sent me, because you can get bags of scraps from her store too, to put coppet, co po coppets, <laughs> holy cow, pockets on the inside front and back cover. I also um, created an insert for it that has four more little pockets and this one has one of her tool keepers with it uh, and I've already got it loaded up with some notebooks and it's in, it lives in my travel art case so when I go on a trip I can w stuff my current sketchbook in here and just go which is why I have this. I love this. I can take it in the art case I can take this whole thing and put it in my backpack and say to carry it on a plane I love it. It works great. I'm going to put it away before it gets... Uh, it gets lost. Okay, so Shannon sent everyone in the design team one of these small ones. I'm not sure right now at the time of filming this what size it is, but I'll find out when I edit the video. I'll put a link for it in the description below. I love the size. It's really cute. She sent everybody a small notebook. They come unthreaded like this so that you can remove the elastic to decorate your notebook. And that looks like part of an ampersand or something. I love that. Um, and she sent me a couple of other miscellaneous pieces, an ATC card, a tag, and this little scrap piece, one of her business cards. And she always sends you directions on how to re-thread it. So everybody on the team got a notebook to do something with. So uh, we're going to do something with our little notebook. I'm going to figure out what that something is and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm going to keep it simpler this time. Um, I did, a, as I said earlier, do a Galaxy one uh, that's in a different video. I'll link it in the description below. It involves resin. Um, you also, as with the other one that I showed, you can paint and collage on it. The design teams come up with some great ideas, by the way. Um, I have this piece of what I call halfway art. It's a little sort of homemade embellishment made out of scraps and arranged in an interesting manner. Um, this piece of acrylic here, the arrow, is one of my stamps from one of my stamp sets. Um, and it's all put together, ready to go. You could slap it on a journal cover or an art journal page or something. In this case, I'm gonna use it on the Custom Keeper cover. I also found this Printstagram print that says, in the end, only three things matter. How much you loved, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let go of things not meant for you. And it's a quote from Buddha. I love that. So I'm gonna, I think it goes with the 
um, halfway art really well. I'm going to sort of tuck it underneath the fabric tag that's on here and I think I'm going to put a brad on there and I'm going to put another clip that sort of thing and we're going to arrange it on the cover. The first thing we need to do is pull the elastic out. Don't lose the directions because if you forget how this went in there that is why Shannon sends you directions on how to get this back in. Alright, so then I'm going to flatten it by rolling it. those up there and then I want to arrange these on the cover something like that I'm going to zoom in just a little bit there we go and what I want to do first is I want to put this brad on here I need a pokey tool so I think I want the brad right there so I'm going to just poke a hole Got a drawer full of brads, I should use them. So, that works for me. I see, I really like the way that looks very much. I do want to put this on here. And then we need to glue the whole thing down, and there's lots of different ways to do that. I do think I'm going to use a bit of E6000 and my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. So what I'm going to do is, I, I like the look of staples, and if you look at this piece of halfway art, there's staples on there. So I'm going to actually add more staples. Now I'm not going to staple it to the vinyl because the little back ends of the staples might, um, you know, they'll, it'll be rough on the back side, and I don't, I don't really like that necessarily. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attach this with some E6000. Not that you need to use E6000. You could use tacky glue. You could use Yes Paste. It, almost any glue will work on here. But I have these bits of metal and things, and it might be kind of heavy. So I'm gonna use. E6000, which I buy in the little tubes now. I don't buy lots of the big tubes because I tend to not use it all up before the tube gets dry and icky, so <laughs> the little tubes make more sense. Wow, that stinks. So then I'm going to flip it over. I am going to attach it to the cover, making sure I'm not covering up the holes and that I'm not sticking out over too much over the um, front cover here. And that is going to be super cute when it's dry. Whoops, there we go. That's going to be super cute when it's dry. I am going to weight it down. I have these weights. They're from an old pair of hand weights. And I'm going to add them on top of this and weight the whole thing down. Okay, and let it dry. E6000, you need to let it dry for at least 12 hours to 24 hours until it's fully cured. But once it's cured, it's on there. It's not going anywhere. Um, and you are going to just love it. So, 
I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do with your Shannon Green Custom Keeper and just bits and pieces you've got laying around your art room. You don't have to go out and do anything fancy. Use what you have. Watch the design team videos. They are going to have some great ideas on what you can do with your Custom Keeper, uh, including, um, you know, painting and all kinds of stuff. So check them out. I'm going to include some still shots here at the end of the video of what this Custom Keeper looks like. I'll put back together. Enjoy. Go check out also the Galaxy Resin one that I did because that was super cool. It got sold for charity to a friend of ours in the community that was sick with cancer um, who has since passed away, Kelly Black. We hope that she rests in peace. We wish her family all the best. Anyway, um, the Galaxy one turned out super cute. I will probably be doing another one at some point, but it was a lot of fun. It did involve resin, so just FYI. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Enjoy your art. Have some fun. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.